In the sum, length is 90, height is 85, and width is 50. Now in front view, when you see from the front, you will see this portion. Right? So what we will do, we will start with sa circle, that is radius 15 and radius 20. From the center, we draw radius 15, then we have given 50, so we can take 10, 10 on both the sides, then go down by 30, then they have given 5, 5 on both the sides because total is how much? 60, this is 50. So, 5, 5 on each side and then join this to this which is 10 mm above this line on both the sides. Then we can take center and we can take radius 20, it would be 8 and from here we will go inside by 6 and we will go down by 45. Same on the other side. Always remember in orthography most of the sums are symmetrical on both the sides. So we have to show, we have to assume that it is same on both the sides. So we are taking dot line on both the sides. So we are done with front view. Now we have to draw top view. So in top view, when we see from the top, we see this circular portion plus this U, then these two rectangle, then again one more U, right? So what we will do, first we will project from front view. So we'll get this rectangle. Then if you see this rectangle is not if you see this rectangle is not complete. There is a slot in between. If you see that slot is 15, 20, 15. So what we will do? We will take 15 from here. We'll mark a line. 15 from top. We'll mark a line. And from here, we'll extend this line down. From here, we'll extend this line down. So we will get a rectangle. From top view, it will look like this. See this. So this is that portion, which is this portion is this portion. Now we will draw this part. So for that, we need to take 10 outside. We will project from front. We have to go 10 down, then go inside by 6, then again go down by 30, then again come out by 6, and again go down by 10. So we will get this, this shape. Same thing on the other side. So again we will project from front view, we'll go down by 10, go inside by 6, go down by 30, again go out by 6 and 10. So we'll draw it on the both the sides. After that, what we will draw? We will draw that rectangle. See this? This rectangle. So for that, we need to project again from front view. We can take this distance 10 and join this same way on this side as well as on the other side as well. Now for this part, 
this part. This you will get from front field. So that is from here again we will project down. We will extend this line. So we will get this part and we will darken this boundary on both the sides. Now there are two more dotted lines which we need to draw it in top view. If you see in top view, when you see from the top, you will be able to see this edge. There is one more edge over here also. This so both this edge you won't be able to see it from the top. So what we will do? We will project from here. So these two lines will be dotted. Now we will draw side view. So when you see from the side, you will see this rectangle, then you will see this U shape, then two rectangle, and again you will see a U shape. So what we will do? First we will project from front view. So we will get this rectangle. Then again we will project from here. And we can project from top view. We know that this depth is still here, this depth is still here, so that we can project from front view. After that, we can project those two rectangles also these two this would be dark then from here we will extend this line to the tool product slot again 15 20 so we will take 15 from here Again, we'll take 15 from here, go down by 8, and we'll draw this. Now, inside view, we have to draw one more dotted line that is the topmost edge, this part. So, what we will do, we will project from here and we will draw a dotted line for circle, the extreme top point. 